All right, so we're back in Google Classroom. Now we're going to see how we can create an assignment. So I'm going to go back to my class. So here's my class. You can see I've already created one assignment, but let's create a new one. And it's as simple as just clicking assignment, titling the assignment. So test assignment two. You know, you put the actual name for that. You can put a description of the assignment. You can even put the directions here, but there's no way you can give directions on this. The due date. You can add a time now. The due date and time are not going to stop them from be, being able to turn this in late. Okay, so that's just showing them when it's due. You'll be able to see when they turned it in, when they submitted it, but this is important. It's not going to stop them from being able to turn it in. So that's just something you got to know off the bat. Now, I can add and give them an assignment. I can add things to it. I can add YouTube videos to this. So let's say there's a video I want them to watch or a video I want them to use as a resource. I could add, I could either search for the video or if I knew the link to it, I could put that in here and I could add that to the assignment. Um, I can link to any external site here if I want to. So this is the link, this is YouTube, and I can even use Google Docs or anything from my Google Drive. Now the thing is, let's say this is similar to Docbus in the sense that I can take a template assignment. So let's say this is my template assignment. I can take it and I can actually make it so I can make a copy for each student in the class. Or I can make it so students can edit that one file. That means that every student can edit that one file. Or I can make it so students can only view that file. So this file could just be the directions to the assignment. Um, it can be uh, just what, how to get started. It could be just information for what they need to do. Now, if I put the make a copy for each student, this could easily be the way that they submit it back then to me. Now, here's the big difference between Google Classroom and Doctopus. When I use Doctopus add-on, it creates a different copy for each student, and I already have access to that. I don't have to have them submit for me to have access to it. But with Google Classroom, you do not get access to their assignment until they hit the submit button. Once they hit the submit button, then you will be able to see their assignment. When you're all done, you just click assign, and this will show up in their assignments. It'll show up in the stream. It'll be all ready to go. Now you can see here's an assignment I've already created. Now in here, all I did was use this template again document and created a copy of this for each student. So I can see that of the 12 students in my class, three have turned it in, nine haven't, and I can just click the turned in part and see who has turned it in. And then I can click the turned in part. I can see when they turned it in. I can click their assignment. If they put in a discussion post, they can, I can see those right here. And I can see their homework. I can then grade it right here. I can see how many points it's out of. So let's say I say this is 97 points. And then I can uh, also then, once I'm all done, uh, I can't really return this until all to the assignments actually do. Uh, but I can then send the assignment back to them and then I can look at everybody else's and see and start grading it now I can also return the assignment then now this is kind of one thing once they've submitted it I grade it I can return it so when they hit submit they lose editing rights I am the only one with editing rights when I hit return they get those editing rights back it's now their document now let's go back to assignment details for a second and you can see this is the basic. I can click student submissions. I can see who has turned it in and who hasn't. I can even see the grades. If I click this again, it minimizes it. Then I can see if I graded it or not. In my drive, I will see those assignments. Once they submit those, I will be able to see that you can see here there's a classroom folder now. I can see my different classes. Here's the class for this one. There's the templates I created. And here's the assignments that they've turned in. So I've only had three students turn in this assignment so far. Now, pretty basic way here. Again, the big difference between this and Doctopus is uh, I don't get to see the assignment until they turned it in. So you can, they can still share it with you. They can still put it in a shared folder if you want access to it ahead of time. But when it's done, they hit that submit button. Now, Let's look at this from the student side. So here's a class where I'm a student. Carl created this. And you see that he added resources here. Some of them are links. Some of them are YouTube videos. And then I have that. And he just put the assignment title here. Now, for me, I can open this assignment. 
I can add a document, so I can either upload a file from my computer, I can link to something, or I can add something from my Google Drive. So let's just pick my test assignment. And then when I'm ready to, I just click Turn In. Now, this is what a student will see. If you turn in this assignment, you will lose the ability to edit the files. I can even add a note to the teacher at this point. And I'll just put in a note, just testing the Turn In feature for a video. And then I click Turn In. So now it's turning in that assignment. The teacher will not get any emails about this, but I can see it's turned in. I can unsubmit it. I can get that file back, but then the teacher won't be able to see it. So my assignment right here. Um, that's pretty much it. It's very quick. It's very easy to get going with this. From the teacher side, you can see you easily be able to see who has turned it in, who hasn't. And if you just expand it, you can see exactly when they turned it in. Um, you will you can click this button to go straight to the folder. You can even click this to download all the assignments to be able to look at them offline. But if you just enable offline viewing of your Google Drive, you can do that without clicking this button. Uh, you can then even email students, like say I want to email reminders to these students, say, hey, you haven't turned it in yet, what's going on? Or if you have a couple students that need extra resources, you can email them that way. But that's pretty much how you create an assignment. You can see how I can quickly grade it. When I'm done, I can just even click return to give them editing rights. Um, so if you do assignments with Google Docs, this is a very easy way to assign assignments and to get those back, to provide some feedback, and even provide a grade. There is not, however, a way to get this grade to go into Infinite Campus, so you will still have to enter the grade into Infinite Campus. Um, so you can look over that however you're assessing things. So that's an easy way to create assignments and get those back from students in Google Classroom.